I never romanticize being an artist. I don't do the whiskey and cigarette at 3 a.m. This work, work that takes time and an intense amount of intellectual and emotional investment. My name is Mileko Mukhosi and I'm a painter. I was born in Francistown, which is the second biggest city in Botswana. My third year high school, I got this art teacher who was really incredible. He exposed me to a lot of German Expressionist painters like Max Beckmann and Otto Dix. I saw that being a painter was a viable platform for communicating political themes. My work deals a lot with the history of Southern Africa and colonial history, histories that compete with already established grand narratives crafted through the Western lens. The current work I'm doing is trying to say, well, how can I use allegory to, to talk about love, to talk about democracy, and really trying to pose a question, is it possible for a black body to function within an allegorical framework as opposed to already being taken over by the idea of blackness, which really collapses any kind of reading. It's this person's black, and blackness means this, and we're done. I was interested in ideas of gendering, ideas of education. Basically, when I go to my country, even living here, how politics becomes so polarizing that people lose sight of ideas of democracy. I try and create an installation that allows the viewer to step in and maybe find something to identify with. I don't do landscapes and I also don't do close-ups. One of the things I like is to have the viewer engage with the figures on the canvas at a one-to-one -one ratio. I think the most important thing is for the viewer to to just acknowledge that there is an incredible amount of investment within this particular kind of representation and these topics and these issues. Art can, can find ways of speaking to specific audiences. You can't change the world, but you can somehow communicate things you care about and hope that something can happen after that. Thank you.